And at 8 o'clock, we have number 17, Kansas State, who's 5-1. Shout out to number 18, TCU, who's 6-0. Oh, TCU's favorite three and a half points on FS1. Adrian Martinez for Kansas State. He is one of the most interesting stories in all of college football um, to me. He's gone 86-138, thrown for 900 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions. S four touchdowns through seven games, six games now. That's not good. Um, it's only two more than Spencer Petras has thrown. But I view him in just such an entirely different way because Kansas State's offense is actually productive. And a large part of that is because of his insane running abilities, right? He is, right now, he's going, if he continues on this pace, he's on pace for a 1,000-yard rushing here, which is crazy for a quarterback. Uh, but, and then not that crazy. I mean, other people have done it. But, like, this is an Adrian Martinez who also struggled with turning the ball over a lot at Nebraska, and he hasn't done that this year, knock on wood for the guy. Um, the offense has been rather productive with him, uh, with his ground game. Uh, Deuce Vaughn is a killer running back. 120 yards, 661 yards, three touchdowns. Stats might not speak for themselves, but if you watch Deuce Vaughn play, you can see his special ability. Phillip Brooks through the years had 20 catches for 274 yards and two touchdowns. And then flip to the other side, Max Duggan, the quarterback for TCU. What a turnaround. Go from being benched to start the year. Being be You're not even the starting quarterback for a team you've been on for like four or five years now. You are a senior quarterback. You're a, the most experienced player, and you're benched at the beginning of the year. And then you come in. You come in, and you dominate. You just you dominate. You're undefeated. You're one of nine undefeated football teams. And at this point, when you're playing, it's going to be eight. He's 116-167, thrown for 1,591 yards, 16 touchdowns, 1 interception. Condre Miller on the ground has had, Miller I hardly know, has had 91 carries for 578 yards and 8 touchdowns. Quentin Johnson on the ground has had 34 catches for 500 yards and 2 touchdowns. Kansas State barely leads the series 8-7. Last three games have gone to Kansas State from 2019 to 2021. Last TCU win at home was in 2018. So I think what's going to be really fascinating about this football game is, uh, TCU's coming off a big win, right? That's a that's a huge win they got over Okie State, a game where you come back from double digits deficit in the fourth quarter, force overtime, win in double OT, and it was just a just miraculous finish for the Horned Frogs and one of the greatest games last weekend. It was overshadowed because the Alabama-Tennessee game was going on at the same time. By the way, some of the greatest finishes all year, at least in my opinion, last week. I think Alabama-Tennessee was phenomenal. Okie State-TCU was phenomenal. Michigan State, Wisconsin, while well, under the radar, was also an amazing finish. And not to mention, uh, the Memphis-East Carolina game was an amazing finish. And Utah-USC was an amazing finish. A lot of amazing finishes last weekend. Okay, State's coming off a bye. So that's tough, right? TCU should be set for a little bit of a letdown, right? You're coming off a huge win over an Okie State team you're supposed to lose to. Going against a Kansas State team that... It's good. We're coming off a bye. And it's just going to be a tough game, right? If you're a, if you're a Horned Frogs fan, Kansas State's a tough football team right now. Well, the Wildcats are playing some pretty good football on the defensive side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball. They have some playmakers. And this should be one of the more underrated games of the day, right? Like, a lot of people are probably going to tune in on the later windows to teams like Penn State and Alabama because their names have more national recognition. But Kansas State, TCU... It's going to be weirdly important for the Big 12 race. Remember, these two teams are tied atop the Big 12 standings. This t game determines who's first place and who's second. So huge, just absolutely ginormous football game for the Wildcats, for the Horned Frogs. This is a big game. This is a really big game. Um, I think this game could be really close, honestly. I think it's going to be a back-and-forth matchup. I think both these teams are solid. On both sides of the football. But if I'm going to be honest, i got to go K-State here. They have looked tremendous since the two-lane loss. That's really waking them up. Adrian Martinez is really taking care of the football. And I understand Max Duggan is playing some phenomenal football as well. I really like Deuce Vaughn here. Um, I like Kansas State's defense. Pickles. It's a funny name, but he's playing some really good football right now. 
There's a lot of great players in the Kansas State Wildcats defense. Give me the Wildcats to win and cover on the road.